I know we're doing a spinoff first in the Bumblebee movie, you know, and that is a very, it's a very distinct dis departure from what you've been seeing so far. Well, that's actually something that I'm excited about because you guys are, from what I've hear, heard, you guys are going to go back to the 80s, mm -hmm. you have a female lead, yep. and you're almost opening the door. And also in this movie, you sort of establish that Bumblebee's been around, and yeah. he's been doing a lot of stuff. Yeah. So uh, what can you tease people about the Bumblebee movie? The objective of that movie is, is to develop more time with less robots in a way and to go back to 1985 and go back to sort of the original heritage if you would of the Transformers. Yeah, G1. Uh, G1, exactly. Right. So um, so it has a very distinct idea in it and then it's gonna, whatever's gonna happen with the chemistry is what's gonna happen but it really is a young female lead opposite Bumblebee and uh, I think Optimus is gonna be jealous that Bumblebee has his own movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, on, on the set visit, you mentioned that at the time, you were thinking about Bumblebee might be the only robot in the Bumblebee movie. There might be less Transformers. There are. Is, is, so I was going to say, is that still the case? There are less Transformers, dramatically less, you know? And I think, you know, we hired purposefully Travis Knight, who is a very distinct filmmaker, you know? And what you want to do, I mean, you can't compete with Michael. Sure. You're going to lose. And also, I think it's... Um, the audience wants something different all the time. Let's keep them interested. So they're going to get a very emotionally complex story, uh, a very tight story in terms of, of its location, in terms of its storytelling. Uh, in fact, it reminds me a little bit of Iron Giant years ago when I did that movie at Warner Brothers. Um, yeah, that's also a masterpiece. It just reminds me of a little bit of that, where it was very contained and yet it didn't feel small.